Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Noah movie thoughts. So, I suppose I will start with the... Yeah, let's, let's start with... I think it was Ham. I'm just putting it out there because I'm, I probably got it wrong. When I say Ham, I do mean the kid who kept wanting things, the one who went out by himself for a wife, and the one who, you know, picked the flower at the very beginning, all this stuff, you know. Right from the start, it's clear he... it isn't enough for him to receive what is coming to him. He wants more. He wants what he sees, if he thinks he can have it. He doesn't think that Noah's looking, so he picks the flower. There's three flowers! Why shouldn't he be able to pick a flower? But Noah knows better, and deep down, Ham knows better, but does he really have to? And it's, it immediately sets up that dynamic, which is great. And then we have, you know, he's, he's spying on the, those kids being kids, you know, yeah, e Ela and Shem. And, you know, I don't remember which of them... Yeah, I think Shem is the one who's like... <laughs> yeah. It's... Yeah, he's, he's not real happy about it. And Ela kind of calms him down, you know, he doesn't have anyone. And, yeah, throughout, he's very much... He wants what he doesn't have if it really appeals. You know, I, I mean, you might as well say, well, what is it, Yafet? Yafet doesn't have a, a wife either. Uh, he might be a little younger, but still, there isn't, you know, and, and when they're told, excuse me, there will be no wives for any of you, Ham is the one who flips out. You know, I mean, Shem, I th I'm pretty sure at that time Shem has no idea that Ela can conceive. She could not conceive of such a thing. And I'm sorry, I really shouldn't be stealing jokes from, from Blackadder. I will apologize in person to Ron Atkinson if he deems it so befitting. If, if he demands an apology, I would happily do so. And then I'd ask for an autograph. I got really off topic there. Ham wants things, and he runs off into the city. It's dangerous, and he knows he's one of the last people on but he wants a wife. He will be a man, and he, he brings it up. How else will he be a man if he cannot start a family, if he cannot have a wife? And when he is told that he cannot, you know, Noah says, be a man, help me complete the Ark. So already we have two different interpretations of what it is to be a man. And then he, you know, he reaches the, the city, village, whatever, and he meets that, you know, the, the girl and gives her some food. And yeah, they, they want to leave together and then, you know, she gets caught in a bear trap. I hate when that happens. and. They, you know, and, and Noah takes like one look and, you know, I know that they, that they were like approaching. I like to think that actually Russell Crowe was like, eh, my boy could do better. See ya. Anyway, yeah, that was really effective too with them just trampling over, the, you know, the really tangible desperation there. Also when we see every time you see an Aronofsky film, there's some image in there that's just not going to leave your head. I, I have yet to forget any of the images implanted by any of his movies. And, like, 
half of them or so I've only seen once, you know. In this one, at, at least one of these images, of those images, is going to be grabbing these girls, throwing them in, you know, I have two for sale, give me the meat, and you know, it gets thrown, and they just tear this animal apart. It's still alive, it's screaming, turn up, eating it raw, and just, yeah. And then, you know, Noah looks down, and he sees, you know, this anonymous looking guy, eye contact, suddenly it's Noah, suddenly it's, you know, the, the snake from the Garden of Eden, and Noah runs back, and he's like, okay, we're, we're too wicked, we cannot, you know, that's when he decides that humanity must die out with them. Anyway, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll just finish off that bit, and then, then he's like, you know, at least we have no, you know, there are no infants, there are no, you know, we can't have any further offspring, which, from what I, I'm not certain, but I do believe that originally it's like massive incest that repopulates the earth, although I guess the movie just kind of cuts off before that starts. Yeah, I guess that that would be the X-rated version. Yeah, so... <laughs> Noah Triple X, come all ye faithful. Yes, so... Come all ye mouthful. I'm gonna stop. I'm, I'm, that's, that's the last one, I swear. Yes, so Noah is intending that for, for a while I wasn't entirely sure why he didn't just have them all throw themselves into the ocean then if, they, if he didn't think that they should live past the, the Ark trip. But near the end of the film we are told the only way for the animals to wake up is for them to be woken up by man. I also like the detail that they're putting them to sleep. It's, I guess, a pre... you know, it's, it's a sort of cryogenic sleep, which I guess explains all... I'm not gonna get too much into it, but just briefly, you know, that explains oxygen, you know, food, excrement, the amount of space required, how all these animals can live side by side in spite of some of them usually eating each other to... yeah. If they're all in cryogenic sleep, then that makes sense, and obviously no one and his family need to survive until they've reached land so that they can wake the animals up again. Anyway, that does bring me back to Ham wanting things. When he returns and, you know, he's, he's furious with Noah for not saving his girlfriend. And, and, and to be fair, there actually might be, you know, if, even if Noah could have saved her, he might not have, because as he says, they are wicked. You know, I, I like that Connolly, I'm just going to be calling her that because I do not remember the mother character's name. I like that she did point out not all of them are soldiers. Some of them have to be innocent, you know, and yeah. And I, you can really see the, the exploration of Noah's survivor's guilt here. There is this sort of thing of if if they are to die, then they must die, and then I should die as well, for I am one of them. You know, it's the survivor's guilt, in a few words, is why did I live when they died? And one, you know, if, if you've, and, and I mean, we are talking millions of people here, so that level of, you know, it's, it's basically the, the future of the species there that he you know, obviously, in that kind of survivor's guilt, you're going to be like, maybe I shouldn't have lived either. So, that was a great exploration. 
Anyway, ham and other types of bacon meat. Ham is furious with Noah, and when he sees Tubal Cain come aboard, he doesn't give that away. He even brings him food, which, you know, eases being a good host. And the two already had a, a relationship. The, the, the introduction of Tubal Cain, who I, I like that they, after a while, reveal, you know, he has not spoken to us since he marked Cain. And then near the end, the mark of Cain. You know, so, so Tubal Cain is a descendant of Cain and lives by the same ideas as Cain, you might say, to, to have dominion, to, to take what you desire and to, to be willing to kill. And that is his definition of a man as he presents it to Ham as well. Even to the point where when Ham kills him, he almost proudly declares, you are now a man. And the, the, the very first impression we get of Tubal Cain, or the first impression that Noah and Ham get of Tubal Cain, is similar and yet has very different impressions on them. And that is, that is somewhat indicative of their character. Noah sees his father be killed by Tubal Cain, and Ham sees Tubal Cain murder one of his own men. He, he could have tried to call him off, but he just murders him in cold blood to keep Ham safe. And then Ham is given the still bloody weapon. It's it's there's there's a clear symbolism there, and he even, he wants to bring it. You know, when they walk up, unmistakably, it's not that Ham walks ahead. Of, no, no, Ham walks beside Tubal Cain with uh, with Tubal Cain's weapon still dripping with blood in his hands, and Noah says, you know. Come, son, and Tubal Cain says, You will not rob me of my greatest warrior with you, a soldier, whatever. He is not yours. Certainly he is. He carries something of mine. And Noah has Ham come and he says, Put that down. But he gave it to me. And there's that thing of, He wants it. Why can't it? You know, Noah keeps saying, what we need, he will provide. And Ham doesn't quite accept that. If he gets something from another source, or if he can see a way to get something, he, he will take it. And that's also, that's where he and Tubal Cain see things somewhat eye why. Although, ultimately, Tubal Cain goes further than Ham will. Ham would rather save his father then go along with Tubal Cain, which is, of course, also, you know, that doesn't mean that he is, you know, it makes a lot of sense that he leaves at the end of the story. It's, you know, wanting, not wanting to kill your father or let him be killed right in front of you is not the same as, you know, doesn't mean that you're a Boy Scout. It, you might still be, you know, he's still he still really covets things and will have to decide for himself if he is going to go ahead and take what he covets or if he's going to find a way to control that impulse. And the... So, so yes, I suppose ultimately him coming out on the other side as a man is him standing up for his father, is him saving his father's life. Now, I suppose that more or less covers Ham.
You glaze. I'm sorry, but why did they name him that? Or why did they name the animal after him? Now, I, or the, yeah, the, the meat of the animal. Maybe I do, maybe I am a little obsessed with it. I'm Danish, we have pigs all over. We, we, we like ham. We may even like it a little bit more than, than Americans. Or bacon, rather, might love it a little bit more than. Anyway, I, let's see. I really love the way that, I mean, from when Noah first says that he will, you know, from, from when he first declares that they will die, that they will be the last of men, and he is told that, Sally, I'm just going to go with Emma, because Emma Watson, I'm pretty sure, is the actress's name. Emma is pregnant. He immediately just, you know, the, the you know, the, the eyes, the, the whole thing just, I mean, he, he was content to just let them die out because there were no more women. There were no more, you know, yeah, no more women to bear children, and when he is told, he is determined that he will kill the, the child if it is a girl, and from that moment on, we and his family are terrified. It's, it's so... It's the, the tension is so thick. We are terrified that he literally will kill his own granddaughter, and it's, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic bit of, I mean, it's, it's kind of, how do you keep things interesting when they're on the boat for a long time? And that's not really something you just want to skip over either, because that is a substantial part of the story. You know, it's like seven days, 70 days, or was it 40? It was a lot of days and nights, and yeah, to to introduce that, to have him be determined to, that was that was really effective. And then, you know, he sees them. He 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 sees his his two infant granddaughters. He pauses briefly, terrified at these CGI. We, we can't completely make things look photorealistic with, with like, faces and such just yet. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't get real, you know, couldn't they just, like, green screen them in if it was because they were, like, out in the middle of nowhere with the water and the boat? Yeah, I, I, it was really obvious. And, and a little later, they are clearly played by actual children, so, anyway. He's, he looks at them, and love takes over, and it is sort of... There, there is... That, that is where the hope lies for the human race. When, when we love each other so much that we... When we look at each other, we can't imagine hurting one another. It is, it is the... The negative... The f photographic negative of Cain, you might say. Cain who kills in order to get. Whereas here, Noah, even certain that he is supposed to kill, doesn't. And ultimately, you know, we're, we're left to wonder, did God mean for everyone, every human being, to die in the Flood? Or did he want just Noah's family to survive? The, the film doesn't offer any clear answer to this. Or did he change his mind, excuse me, later on? And also, Noah, 
when when he is told that the that that Methuselah made Emma, you know, that he he that he let her conceive. You know, Noah it, it responds. You know, this you know this is a sin against God. It's it's unnatural, you might say. And really, you might, you could interpret it the other way around, because Noah, in this situation, is very, is still deeply affected by what he saw, the, the desperation he saw in the, yeah, in, in the little village there. So, personally, I don't think that it was really going against what, you know, rather I think it was exactly what, exactly the way it should be. The, you know, this is a girl that's been raised since, you know, fairly young age to, you know, with, with Noah and by his family, so she isn't like the other, you know, I mean, they're basically just more or less just be one big chunk of you know the yeah the the humans the wicked humans one big chunk of desperate war hungry aggressive vile meat you know there 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 is very little of actual personality they're they're kind of the the collective right arm right hand of Tubal Cain they just do what he says there's no individuality and I think that's the right way to to do it because it is this you know it it shouldn't be too horrific when when you know everyone in the world is going to be killed and I do also think that it was very actually yeah just briefly about you know being raised with no one's family of course if one thing should make her snap it would probably be having to listen to Russell Crowe sing but anyway Yes, the, the, the men of Tubal Cain and the, yes, to, to have Noah versus Tubal Cain, as I say in the review, Noah is very much, you know, it's, it's very much an environmentalist film, and Noah is very much the, the green man, he's, he gets everything he needs from nature, and it, it does go into Avatar, you know, planet Pandora territory, where everything can be solved with just the right herbs and, you know, stuff. There's, there's nothing they can't accomplish with that. You know, they have medicine that, you know, that we wouldn't necessarily think of human beings mastering at that time. Like her, you know, Emma's womb when she's a kid. Is, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So so things like that. And on the other hand, we have Tubal Cain, who is this industrialist, and he used the abilities of the the, the creative abilities, you might say, and the the efficiency of the Watchers, who you know beyond just talking, you know, creative power, they are. They're strong and they're big and they're, you know, made of rock, so obviously they can make things work fairly fast. So yeah, he's very much the industrialist and yeah, the this thing of he's been mining so much that he's destroyed the earth. And, you know, really what we're talking about there is fracking and, uh, you know, yeah, drilling for oil, these kinds of things, rather than what 
you know, be doing in, in that time. Now, the... I think... Yeah, I, I also... I heard that the, you know, Pope Francis, who is a, a true reservoir of joy to us non-theists. Let's, let's go with that. Non-Christians with all of his radical ideas. He gave this movie the Vatican's blessing after meeting with Russell Crowe. I like to think that he's a fan and he just wanted Crowe to act out, you know, Francis' favorite scenes from Gladiator. That's, yeah. Now, I think that might more or less Yes. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.